This week's video is Because Climate Change, in solidarity with the United Nations Climate Conference. I'm working on a piece that brings together the discarded, the natural, and the decidedly unnatural, but nonetheless discarded waste. If they can be brought together in art, they can be brought together in life. I believe that our human ingenuity will figure out a solution to the problem and that we as a species will survive. We're fighters and we're creative. And yes, I am an optimist. And before we start, I want to announce that I'm opening up a new class next week where you can create a finished piece and learn how to frame and mount it the easy way. It'll make a great gift for the upcoming holidays. And I'll be announcing it first to email subscribers. So sign up for the email list by clicking the email sign up link in the description below. Let's get started. This is an old cradle board that I had used for a beeswax encaustic project and I decided I didn't care for it. So I'm using a heat gun to remove the wax and resin. And as I get towards the end of the project, I am going to heat up the, what remains of the wax and then buff it into the board with a sock. It's leaving a really nice soft and shiny finish. So what I'm going to be creating here is a weaving and then I am going to mount it onto the cradle board. And what I'm using to weave with is some hardware cloth left over from a garden project. It's a little bit springy, which is actually kind of good. trying to find some natural and unnatural and discarded waste to combine together to create my weaving. So, what do we got here in our box of goodies? That is some hemp cord, some alpaca yarn made from the wool of llamas raised on the Big Island of Hawaii, and some plastic or nylon rope that was discarded and washed up on the beach from the fishing boats and I collected that at Camilo Beach on the Big Island. Some ribbon from a gift, some bamboo ribbon from an old project, more hemp cord, more bamboo ribbon, some black velvet ribbon from an old gift. And even though I, uh, well, that's some t-shirt uh, yarn that I'm not gonna use, but I'll be adding a few more things as well as we go along. start with the velvet ribbon and just weave it through. This isn't all that difficult. In fact, it's actually easier than weaving on a hand loom, except that the uh, 
hardware cloth is a little bit prickly in spots from where I cut it. And as with most of the projects that I uh, work on, I'm sort of making this up as I go along. I have an idea of what I'm trying to create, but I'm not going to be very rigid about it because every time I am very specific about what I want my end product to look like, it doesn't. So to avoid disappointment, I will let go and let flow. Also because I, I end up with something better that way every time anyway. Please excuse the beeps from my computer. I'm going to select some of this black plastic rope discarded by the fishing boats and washed up on the beach. You should see how much there is tons and tons of this stuff, literally truckloads and truckloads of this stuff that washes up on the beach. It's awful. Now I'm going to use some of the gray plastic rope. I like the way that it is kind of fuzzy. It's disintegrated over time and it unravels fairly easily and makes a nice fuzzy fluffy texture. This is some window screen and I'm going to place it on top of a piece of the black velvet ribbon and weave the combination through. This is a piece of uh, palm fiber frond that I used as a, a stencil for a monoprint and so it's got some blue on it. Next I am weaving through some collage paper that has window screen glued to it and a piece of the bamboo and now I'm going to start with some of the alpaca 
yarn. Okay, this is more palm frond fiber. And some of the bamboo ribbon. Another velvet ribbon. And I just continue rotating. I'll add in a few new pieces of material. Here I am adding some of the hem from the drop cloth that I'm using here. Why not? It's the right color. Goes well. And I finally got smart and realized that I had a heat gun nearby and it would be good to melt the ends of my very frayed rope so that I can string it through pretty easily. This is that straw ribbon that was previously on a gift I received. And I repeat these things throughout. Cut off some more of that drop cloth. This is some of that fabric that you place on the ground to prevent weeds from growing through. Wove a couple of that str those strands through here. Some brown paper. I finally figured out a good way to cut that plastic rope using my hacksaw and hacking it off. More window screen. some hemp cord. This is actually the handles from some brown paper bags. from the brown paper bags.
Now it's a little bit too long and I like don't like the bottom portion so I'm just cutting it off. Use it for something else. Now this fits perfectly onto my cradle board and I have to figure out a way to attach it. My first attempt is a big fat fail with I'm trying to wrap the hemp, weave the hemp cord through, wrap it around to the back and then tie it on, but it just slips way too much. So I'll think of another solution. Screwing some little tiny wood screws into the back of the board because they didn't want things to show on the front of the board. But this did not work. Time for another solution. I'm going to put the screws on the front of the board and then I am going to hook the wire over the screws and this solution works. And finally, I'm going to add a tiny bit of color with some plastic fishing rope. And we're done. So what can you leave from leftovers? Or maybe you already have. Let me know in the comments below. And remember to watch for an email from me next week announcing the opening of the new class. Give yourself a gift or maybe add it to your list. It'll go out first to email subscribers. So click on the email sign up link in the description below. See you next week.